What is going on fam and welcome back to another mother and video. Today we're gonna be going to the grocery store and actually before I tell you what we're gonna be doing, uh, the greens juice, I'm drinking greens juice and creatine HCL. If you have not drank a greens juice before, I highly, highly suggest you do. Also vitamin C liposomal, it is like a little bit more expensive. I get it from Live On Laboratories. It's freaking amazing, I love it. Yeah, I, I never get sick, I literally never get sick. I'll probably get sick tomorrow after saying that. Um, also, I take a probiotic every single morning. This is very, very important. Actually, Create You Nutrition, we're coming out with that as well. But uh, yeah, Create You Nutrition, the greens juice launches July 30th. It's gonna sell out literally in the first hour. We only have 2,500 bottles. It's actually limited edition, as you can see. So I will definitely put a link up very very early in the morning on my Instagram all my social media to make sure you can get them If you want I'm not I don't really care if you don't want to it's fine Also creatine HCL is coming out soon now in this video like I said we're gonna be going to the motherfucking grocery store the grocery store and uh, I, I, I really, I, I get a lot of messages, a lot of comments, people saying, hey Brennan, I don't have a lot of money. Stop going to Whole Foods. Stop going to these expensive places, these farmers markets, wherever. I, I can't buy all that food. I don't have $150 a week. So what I wanna do is I wanna cut down the expenses for you. And whatever you're making, whatever I, I wanna make this budget friendly. $50. So I wanna go to the grocery store, I'm gonna go to Walmart, I'm gonna try it out myself. I have no like plan or anything, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna see if I can get under or around $50 so that you can as well mimic exactly what I did and consume all your proteins, your fats, and your carbs properly. We're gonna keep the sugars down. We're gonna try and get high quality foods. It's going to be difficult. It's only $50 a week, but for someone that is like 170 pounds, 160 pounds, this is going to be ideal. And uh, yeah, let's get rolling. Wally, 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 Okay, anyways. Um, so, first step. I'm gonna show you the macros that we're gonna be following here on the screen. This is very, very important. This is going to be for a 170 pound male. If you wanna just maintain your weight and make sure, actually gain a little bit of weight. So this will be if you wanna gain a little bit of weight at 170 pounds. Um, very select on the carbs, fats, and proteins. We're gonna make it happen, boys and girls. We will make it happen and then the food analysis will come right after, let's roll. Okay, to start off, we're going to find carbs. Now, Obviously, um, you might want to have specific cereals. You might want to have some freaking Hulk Jello in your life. You might want to have like a lot of breadcrumb on your chicken. I don't know what the heck you like to have for your carbs. Pancakes. I freaking love pancakes. I love. I love like ch chocolate chips. I freaking love. I love s'mores. I love. Like, dude, I freaking love all this shit just like you. So, um, what I really want to do is make sure that you're getting a good carb source for the entire week, but not spending too much. I. I, I just. I just don't think the, the Oreo O's, oh shit. I want this like really bad actually for myself. These are not the best for you. So let's find value. Let's smack it out of the park. Oh gosh, damn it. The, the Aunt Jemina, look at Aunt Jemina. Look at her, she's smiling. She's all freaking happy and right. stuff. The original syrup. Like, chug, just chug it real quick? Yeah, just chug it for the one. About plant for uh, Kodiak cake, oh shit. See, these are the problems when you come to get groceries. Like you want everything. So let's stay focused and let's pick it up. So there's a lot of different kinds of oatmeal you can get. Obviously, if you're on a budget, you're not gonna be able to get all the gluten-free and the high-quality organic and all these different things. I definitely do say uh, Quaker Oats is pretty damn good. You're also looking for efficiency, so a lot of people, they wanna be in and out of their store and make it happen. Um, you can also get the gluten-free right here. This will last you a good amount. So you have about 13 servings per container. Serving size is a half a cup dry. So you're talking about 27 carbs, five protein, and three fat for a half a cup of dry. And you have 13 servings of that. So I do recommend getting the gluten-free quicker oats. We're gonna throw this right in here um, to get started with the carbs. Many times when we're uh, going to the grocery store, we find ourselves at the uh, Hostess Donetes. I don't think that's how you say it, but the little bite is no, I couldn't, I'm just kidding. But we see ourselves with the bread and we're like, yo, we need bread, brother. We're not really gonna get any bread. I know some of you might be like, eh, what the fuck, man? Yeah, we're not big bread eaters. I would rather have something from like rice or potatoes, 
We're gonna get to that in just one second. If you are going to get some bread, I do highly, highly suggest something gluten-free or not even gluten-free, um, just something that with whole grains and seeds. So I like Dave's Killer Bread. I, I actually get this for myself. I don't like all of these ingredients right here. That, that kind of throws me off many, many times, but there are many different types of breads you can get that are more fresh at your supermarket that have small ingredients. Small ingredients, always better. I do suggest whole grain and definitely some good seeds in there as well. But uh, yeah, no bread for us. Is to find the biggest freaking banana in the whole entire land. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Get some tamarind, no, I'm kidding. No, really, uh, you should go out into your front yard and get some aloe vera and watermelon, like veggies, like it is a great source of carbs. So we are gonna grab one or two vegetables that you can be consuming. They're gonna be inexpensive, so you don't have to worry too much, but you do wanna make sure you're getting your fiber and you're getting uh, very nutritious carbohydrates, so uh, yeah. So carrots is also going to be something else that you want to keep in mind. Great source of a veggie you consume every single day. You know, you don't have to, honestly, like, right now, don't worry so much about organic. Just make sure you're getting enough in your diet and they're not shit product. I mean, vegetables, again, you're getting pretty good stuff for, for um, what's here. So, I mean, you could get baby carrots if you wanted to. It is $1.84 for about 32 ounces. Whole carrots, I definitely found that you get a little bit more out of them. So, you know, going with these. Some bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S, two of them. This is gonna be like probably like three bucks. And you can have two bananas every single day. That'll be about 250 calories or something like that, even a little bit more. And that's 27 carbs per freaking banana. Smash, baby, smash. Finally, what we're gonna be getting is some vegetables. If, if you find anything that has like a lot of veggies in there, it's always gonna be a plus. So, for instance, this is one cup. And there's gonna be four grams of carbs. There's about 22 servings in here. So let's just say you have two servings every single day, or three, so 7, 14, 21. So you have three servings every single day, that's 75 calories, it's about four, eight, 12 carbohydrates. But you're getting some really, really clean, clean foods in your diet. Carbs are going to be uh, probably like 15 bucks at most, really. So we're gonna go ahead and gra grab one of these, or, or if they do have like the, the broccoli, a lot of broccoli. Cool thing is there's a little bit of protein per each of these, so same thing. There's 17 servings, so I'm actually going to instead get the California blend a lot more bang for your buck. Now rice, um, one of the main things is where is your rice coming from? You don't really want any enriched rice. Definitely, definitely do not suggest that. There's shit in there. You don't want, all, you don't want extra shit in there. You can find this brand, the Golden Star. I mean, usually I get organic, California white, like all these different things, but again, you might not have enough money for that. So white rice, jasmine rice, and the ingredients, just jasmine rice. It's like $5.12. This will last you a good amount of time, and you'll get a lot of bang for your buck. So look to get a good rice, not any of this extra, so jambalaya, jambalaya, and like, like even these, even if you wanna get freaking olives and all this stuff, like. It's really not worth it with all the shit they put in there. Um, mustard, I freaking love mustard. I would say like one of the recommendations is to get yellow mustard more than any other type of mustard because they put a lot of different things in the Dijon and all that stuff. And also ketchup, get the ones without high fructose corn syrup. If you can see here, yep, high fructose corn syrup, boom. Stay away from it. Condiments, you don't really need too many condiments, especially if you're trying to, again, build muscle or maintain a specific weight. Right now we're eating about 2,600 calories for 170 pound male, so you're actually going to gain a little bit of weight. This is gonna be a steady increase. Again, $50 for the entire grocery list. I'm trying to make it happen. It's tough, but we're getting there. Okay, so we have a choice. We can either go ribeye steak thin for $14 for two pieces, or you can get something a little bit better. No added hormones or steroids, no growth promoting antibiotics or anything and uh, get a three pound turkey, like ground turkey. I highly suggest going this route. Again, this is only like $9, I think. You can have a good amount of food here. Again, 93% lean protein and 7% fat. So definitely a good source of protein. So you have a choice, really, when it comes to your proteins. Do you want only chicken? Do you want only turkey? Do you want some beef? I don't eat beef. I don't believe in eating beef several reasons why, that's totally fine if you disagree, but 
I'm here right now in the freezer section and I found a 10 pound bag of chicken. Now, if you get this full 10 pound bag of chicken, you have to remember, with every 16 ounces of chicken, it's gonna cook down, like, like regular 16 ounces of chicken, it's gonna cook down to about 12 ounces of actual meat. So, when you talk about 10 pounds, you just have to do the math. You do 16 times 10, that's 160. So about 120 uh, ounces of chicken for the entire week. It's definitely a way to go. This is gonna be $18.83 from Walmart. Good choice. So for your fats, you're obviously gonna get some fats from your from your protein, you're gonna get some fats from even some of your carb uh, products, but we want something delicious, something really good. So um, I have a couple suggestions. If you have enough money and you can swing it a little bit, get the nutso, actually, this is only 6.94, and this will definitely last. So it's 16 grams of fat per serving, right? So if you're 58 grams of fat, like this is actually a really, really good source. I freaking, I don't love that, that it's dripping all over me. For example? That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> but, okay, that's it. That's a bit off. Um, let's go to the next one. <laughs> oh, this one's dripping too. This mm -hmm. is great. But this is definitely like ne seven nut and seed butters. So I, I generally stay away from peanut butter. But when you combine peanuts, cashews, almonds, Brazil nuts, flax seeds, like all these seeds and nuts together, it, it comes out to be an incredible, incredible fat source for you that you can just add to your banana or even add to your oats in the morning. Um, you can also add some brown sugar. I, brown sugar is really, really cheap. I don't even need to go over that. But I do suggest getting this. And you, if you have two servings of this a day, that right there is 32 grams of fat 14 grams of protein, 14 grams of carbs. So it's a lot already, and you'll most likely get the rest, would you say, with every all the other foods that you're eating. But we're still gonna get you one more uh, fat source. Definitely get Nutso Peanut Pro Smooth. You want this? Yeah, yeah. Great, let's do it. Okay, I know, I know, I know you want the Oreo O's. We're not gonna do it. Gosh damn, dude, look at these things. Let's see, let's see the macros on this thing. One and a half grams of fat. 25 cards, one protein for one cup. That's actually not that bad, is it? But look at the second ingredient, sugar. Canola oil, corn syrup, death. <laughs> Just don't do it. Oh, chips ahoy. Okay, a lot better. Canola oil, corn syrup, <laughs> cookie bits, death. <laughs> no. What we are going to get is some either maple syrup or honey. Definitely would go for maple syrup. You can get pure maple syrup. And the good, good, the good news is that uh, you can get something that will kind of last you a couple weeks. It's not just going to last you one week. So we'll kind of chop that price in half so you know that you're good. But this, just kidding. 53 carbs. <laughs> Definitely did not know that was going to happen. All right, I'm leaving. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Welcome to the B. Myers eggplant. Here, um, we don't mess with any of the bullshit. Look at this, 88 cents, like don't do that. Whatever you do, don't do that. Um, they're gonna try and get you to do that, don't do it. You wanna find something that is as organic as possible. Honestly, you do have it in your budget. It's like, I think we're around like $53 or something like that. So, get the 18 large organic cage free brown eggs, something on this level. The cool thing about it is, for every egg, you're gonna get like, what, three grams of fat, five grams of protein, or four grams of or around that area, which means if you have, let's say, three eggs, four eggs a day, you're solid. You have your fats, you have your proteins, you have your carbs, fats and proteins, great source. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go do a food now. Let's do a food, I can't speak, fuck. I'm dying. <laughs> let's go do a food analysis, let's find out how much all this costs, Let's eat for this week, shall we? Let's go. Total, here it comes. Total is $58.54. Do they tax, do they tax food? I don't think they do, man. Yeah, I don't think there's any tax. So $58, so close to 50 bucks. Like 60 bucks a week 
can get you pretty much everything that you need. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna get, like discuss some of the meals that you can be having so that you can just square away your diet for the week, each week. Remember, this is about 170 pounds, so you might have to spend a little bit more if you weigh a little bit more and you wanna gain weight. Um, but if you wanna lose weight, if you're trying to lose fat and you're 170 pounds, you wanna get to 160 pounds, it's beautiful because it's gonna be a little bit less expensive. It always shifts as well. If you buy in bulk, if you go to Costco, if you go to like really big supermarkets or whatever and you get like a 10 pound bag, you get like 20 pounds or whatever it is, it could last you for two weeks and actually, actually could cut your all of your expenses down even more. So keep that in mind when you're choosing your budget for your food. And if you if you want to get to the physique that you want, you know, a lot of it is how you're training, of course, but also that diet and how much you're spending on food. Sometimes you gotta risk it all to get to where you want your goals to be. Here we go. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the my fitness pal right here on the screen, right here, you see it? Okay, so as you can see, 20 carbs left in uh, the total day, minus five grams of fat, and one gram of protein. So that means I ate, I still need one gram of protein, I ate five grams of fat a little bit too much, and then 20 grams of carbs I still need. This is actually fine, this is completely fine, because you're just gonna be adjusting your macros as it goes anyways. So let's just say there's 45 calories left in the 2600 um, calories that you consume, that's fine, 2550 is good, unless you know, you're know you burning way more than that, and um, obviously you don't wanna lose weight, you wanna gain weight. So 175, uh, 170 pound male. We got pretty damn close. We got pretty, pretty damn close to everything. And as you can see on the screen, um, we have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then we have the snacks. So let me explain. So when you wake up, okay, when you wake up, you're going to have about 60 grams, or sorry, yes, yeah, 60 grams of gluten-free oats with the Quaker oats. Now, you can have this with water, put a little bit of brown sugar in there. That will also adjust your, your macros a little bit as well. Make sure you put it into MyFitnessPal. But that'll be a total of 40 carbs, four and a half fat, seven and a half protein, okay? Next. With those gluten-free oats, you're also going to have two eggs. Because remember, we have 18 eggs. So 18 divided by two, you have about nine days worth of eggs. You're going to have 10 fat and 12 grams of protein there. Okay, so that's that's meal number one. Now, before you go train, whatever that, that looks like for you, you can do a couple different things. I suggest having some more carbohydrates. I always love to just have a banana with two tablespoons, as you can see in the snacks. So we have one banana. This wasn't weighed out exactly. This, these bananas are actually a little bit bigger, so the carbs might be actually even more accurate. But 27 grams of carbs, perfect. Very good for you uh, before your training with 16 grams of fat, seven grams of protein, another seven gram, uh, grams of carbs. So you're, you're gonna be able to go and train and get that meal in as well. After your, after your training session, you wanna then have yeah, right here, you see the turkey, all natural fresh ground uh, turkey. You can have about 6.8 grams per day. Here we're gonna have 6.3 grams of turkey. That's a good amount of protein, 35 grams of protein. The jasmine rice, we're gonna have 60 grams of carbs here. You really wanna re uh, replenish all that glycogen, 4.5 grams of fat, boom. And then yeah, that, that's pretty much going to be your, your meal after your training. Now, when you go to lunch, lunch could be a little bit later, it could be like 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., that's completely fine. You're going to have the California blend veggies. Remember these right here? Right here. So you're gonna have three cups of that. Now the only problem is you might run out of veggies, but that's okay if, like these, these are pretty cheap, so you can go run back to the store if you need to grab those. Uh, but 12 grams of carbs right there. And then with that, you're also gonna have the, the frozen chicken breast, so nine ounces. Remember, you can have I believe, what was it, 17 ounces per day with the, with this specifically, like a 10 pound tub. So that's gonna be 51 grams of protein, five grams of fat. Now you can also switch that chicken with the turkey for your post-workout meal if you want a little bit more protein. I actually suggest that as well. Um, and then to finish off that meal for lunch, you're gonna have 60 grams of carbs with the protein, uh, or, or sorry, the carbs and the protein's gonna be four and a half grams with that jasmine rice. Now, moving on to dinner. Dinner, you're going to have, and that could be around six, seven o'clock. I generally go to sleep at 10, so I won't eat anything two hours prior, and that's something that I take very, very seriously. So you can even have another snack 
before, like after lunch, and you go ahead and have a banana, another banana, 27 grams of carbs, and then one tablespoon of the peanut pro smooth nut soap. Remember, it's this stuff right here. So pay attention on the screen because you can see everything that I'm putting on here. Um, and then we're gonna finish off our dinner, a nice, juicy, delicious meal. We're going to have some frozen chicken breast, eight ounces, that's gonna be 46 grams of protein, five grams of fat, then we're gonna have the jasmine rice, another 60 grams of carbs, and then we're gonna have three whole carrots with this right here. Now again, you might run out, depends on how much each of these weigh, you might actually be perfect for the entire week. So around $58, $55, the eggs are gonna last you nine days, so you can you can reduce that price a little bit. The oats will be perfect. The jasmine rice will last you a little bit longer, which is gonna be really good for you. Um, all of this, the other stuff, is going to last exactly how long you pretty much need it. This will last longer, so you won't need to buy it. You probably need to buy this like every three weeks, um, every month, or whatever, or whatever that looks like. So that's it right there, guys. That's your total. Like we just did that. We did it. <laughs> Shit, fifty-five bucks for your entire macros for the week. Now, if you're, if you're heavier, obviously you're gonna have to pay more. Like, this is the name of the game. This is the name of the game. How important is your, is your health? And, and that's what it comes down to. We, we're eating solid foods, like delicious foods, good foods that are very, very healthy for us. Now, if you're able to spend a little bit more money, I, I suggest adding some fruits in here, a little bit more than just a banana, um, and then also mixing up your vegetables each week. It's very, very important. Different type of micronutrients. Also, I will say this, like, Real shit, I'm not just saying this just to say this, but I have like these greens, honestly, this is also another great way for an entire month, you spend 35 bucks for the entire, like literally the entire month, you get all your micros, not all of them, sorry, but you get a lot of micronutrients that you, you probably wouldn't get just eating these foods. And this is essential for just uh, a supplement, just to add into your diet, to make you feel a little bit better. This has helped me, honestly, the reason why we created greens is because everybody has gut issues that I, that I work with, and they were all like, yo, we need to come up with something that's really like next level, but a good solid price that doesn't need to compete with anybody else because we're on our own island. And this is why, why we created the greens, to create you greens. So, Definitely, definitely, definitely keep this in mind. Um, we probably already sold out of them or we're gonna be selling out of, out of them on July 30th. So make sure you're staying in tune with that. Um, but that's like, yeah, 35 bucks for the entire month. So for the entire month, including those greens, you're talking about a gut, gut healthy uh, food. Um, you can add some salt. I, I always suggest adding some sodium to, the, to all of the foods that you're consuming. Um, and then also having make black pepper, maybe turmeric. Um, if you get spices, they pretty much last like six months to a year. Like it depends on what you're buying obviously, but get something that you really enjoy and put it all in there. And um, yeah, you can get basil, you can get oregano, you can get uh, paprika, you can get, uh, what other things do I love? I love um, turmeric, turmeric with black pepper. A lot of studies behind that shows that it's incredible for a lot of different things. I'll get, I'll get into those variables in other videos. I'm actually studying a lot of nutrition right now, uh, which is really, really fun. But yeah, total 55 times four, four weeks in a month approximately. Um, you're talking about $220 plus the greens juice, $220. $70, you're gonna be feeling great. Let's say you're making $1,000 per month, or maybe you're making $700 per month, boom, you're good to go, right? And I'm talking about profit from, from wherever you're working. Uh, even if you need to pick up a little side hustle to make sure that you can eat right, it all comes down to how you wanna feel and what you want to look like. Now, if I, like if I take off my shirt right now, in order to get to this right now, it's taking a lot. It's taking a lot of, of, of just, calculations and, and making sure that I'm eating the right foods and, and micronutrients and so many different things. And I'm getting stronger, but I'm also reducing fat like quicker than I ever have. So these are things that you just need to keep in mind as you're developing. Trust the process, trust the process 100% and keep the variables uh, right where they need to be, but keep the variation very, very high. The more unique the foods are, the better quality digestion you're gonna have, the easier your body is going to uh, be able to work. And you know what that means, less cortisol, less stress, less everything, more development and building for all of your muscles. So um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy these type of videos, 
please do comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Uh, we're coming out with bangers. We're gonna come out with like so many different body weight uh, videos, tutorials, but also incorporate some weights into it. So if let's say we go through an entire body weight video, at the end of it, we're always gonna in incorporate some weights because I am bodybuilding and I'm going into men's physique. October 5th is my competition. So, uh, and I wanna win it and I'm putting everything, every ounce and I'm learning new stru structures and strategies and, and formulations to, to really, and met methodologies to get my body to the next level with that style of training as well, incorporating uh, body weight training. So definitely, definitely stay tuned for more. Appreciate you guys so, so much. Love you. Remember, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Peace! Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotize.